All right, guys, welcome to my page. Uh, Chris Rowan here, and I have a lot of stuff that I want to talk about. Um, I'm making this page, sharing this video, sharing my uh, experiences because I feel like there's some value here. And to give you some idea, I'm a 41 year old, soon to be 41 year old, um, that decided to get back on the ice after a little over four years away from it. Um, I figured for this first video, I'll give you that story about how I got to this point. But also, just to give you an idea on what I actually intend to do with this page, for those of you that care and decide to follow me, subscribe, join, whatever you call it here on YouTube. And what I would like to do is kind of just share that experience of going from somebody who coached at a fairly high level, youth level, who played at a decent youth into men's league level, um, a little bit of college in there, as somebody who worked in the pro shop, as somebody who put a lot of time um, into understanding and learning about hockey equipment, especially goaltending, um, sharing my thoughts and experiences and getting back into the game and getting into the new equipment, the new attitude, the new mindset um, around some of that stuff, um, both from the perspective of somebody getting back into it, but then also just as somebody who's 41. And while I know there's plenty of you guys out there that are probably in that late 30s through early to mid 40s that have continued to play, um, I feel like there's a lot of people out there that, you know, maybe have stepped away from a sport, stepped away from something they enjoyed, and it may not even be hockey, it could be anything, and, you know, maybe miss it, maybe regret it, maybe wish they didn't do so, and I'll give you a little bit of my insight into that as well. Um, as for, again, how did I got to this point, um, I didn't start playing hockey till I was probably about 10 or so years old. So I was born in 1983, um, I got into hockey a little bit before 93, 94 when the Rangers won a cup, and yes, I am a Rangers fan. Um, probably got into the idea of more playing, but even somewhat watching hockey in the late, in the early nineties, um, playing some street hockey, basically getting thrown into goal with the old school, my leg pads, um, you know, basically, um, kind of by default and, you know, then finding the game on TV, which I will say I had a single mom. We didn't have cable. We didn't have access to a lot of that stuff. It was just by kind of happenstance that I caught a devils versus Canadians game. And I was just, you know engulfed in it, if you will, um, you know, between the movements, the players, the goaltending, especially the idea of the equipment, you know, it was all enticing to me. And it wasn't long after that that I told my mom, hey, I want to go play hockey, which was quite ironic considering when she tried to get me on the ice at five years old, I just cried and I never skated again until I decided I wanted to play hockey. Um, from the start, I wanted to play goal, um, but honestly, she in a way, correctly, made me actually just learn how to play out, which again, was done through primarily clinics and camps for a full year, um, learn how to skate, make sure I was gonna stick with it, go and show up to practice, and I never missed a single one as long as I was healthy to do so. Um, but that first year of getting on the ice, it was just a matter of playing. Eventually, I was able to get on the ice as a goaltender, you know, get the equipment, house league, rec league, camps, clinics, all those types of things. Um, and I'll tell you, you know, even though, yeah, I struggled a lot up front, especially as being a little bit older and getting into that position, you know, it never deterred me. Um, I put a lot of time and a lot of work in and I got a lot better really quickly because I put that time and work in. Now I will say, looking back, and I was thinking about this the other day, it was quite ironic that my time frame or my span of hockey career kind of went from this position or transition from when you, know, you were still learning how to play stand up and kick saves in camps to then butterfly, down movements, backside recoveries, reverse VH, all that type of stuff that you see now in the game today. And honestly, the way equipment has changed so drastically in the, the time frame that I both played and then since I've played. Um, you know, just recently I purchased a set of pads, custom ordered, I haven't got them yet. Um, but you know, from everything on what, figuring out what my size was and all the different options and the fact that pads don't have straps on them anymore or no leather straps, uh, no boot strap, like this stuff is like, how is that possible? You're like, how does that make any sense? So wrapping my head around all that while trying to figure it out is, like I said, a big part of the reason why I wanted to do this because I worked in the pro shops and I was involved in equipment and everything else that I really feel like there's gonna be some value in talking about my transition from that old school stuff, equipment, mindset, et cetera, to you know, more so uh, where I'm at today. But also even sharing a little bit of my journey on like, you know, getting into that position of you know changing my workouts and my nutri my training routine right even nutrition and what i'm going to do around the ice is a personal trainer nutrition coach in addition to working in law enforcement you know i have a lot of stuff going on a lot of experience in a lot of areas and i think there's going to be some value there that i like to bring um but even getting back to the hockey stuff um i played for the most part right up until about 30 years old when i did get into law enforcement outside of a stretch of time when i was in the academy um you know the first few years in law enforcement i continued to play two sometimes even three times a week and it wasn't until um, 
you know, late 2019, well, really so much 2018 when my son was born that I kind of stopped skating as frequently. I did still skate occasionally. Um, and then not long after I per actually purchased a pair of skates, um, which are the Bauer 1X uh, goal skate, um, you know, all that stuff that happened in early 2020 happened and the rink shut down. And even though I was planning on actually getting back on the ice and skiing a little bit more, I just couldn't. And in that time frame, my business started expanding. I started working and coaching more people. I had more opportunities in other areas. So it just didn't seem as important to me to get back on the ice. And the next thing I know, it was four years later, um, which brings me to why am I getting back on the ice now? One, it is something I always enjoyed. It's a big part of my identity. Um, and half because of that and half because of that, but also what that means is the fact that I wanted to skate in front of my son. Uh, he's six years old. Now I'm not asking him to play hockey. I'm not making him play hockey. If he decides he wants to do it and try, by all means, I'll help him out. I'll, I'll encourage him and I'll help, you know, do what I have to do in that regard. Um, but yeah, that's ultimately how I've gotten to this point. And then in the month, month and a half or so, about a month and a half, close to two months now that I've been skating, if I'm gonna keep skating, um, I've decided it was, yeah, I'm gonna get some equipment. Um, one, I need it. Um, the set of pads I'm currently in is a Vaughn Ventus uh, LT80, which is the first edition Ventus. They're still in pretty good shape, but they are on the elder side of things, you know, 12 years old pad. Um, my glove and blocker are actually even older than that. I have a V5 catch, I'm sorry, a 5500 catch and a V5 uh, blocker. Um, both of them are, you know, seen better days. Still serviceable, still work fine for what it is I'm doing, but at the end of the day, they really could use to be replaced if I'm going to keep on playing. I did just get a new pair of pants. I did get new knee guards. I did get a new cup. Um, so I am going to basically do a little bit of like kind of mini equipment reviews based upon you know, like how I feel about the stuff that I'm getting and using, but then also how it compares to stuff that I had used and obviously making in some ways upgrades, in some ways just to kind of uh, change. Uh, but all those things are things that I feel like will have some value. So that being said, I'm sure I'm leaving out a whole bunch of stuff. Hopefully you guys get something out of this. This is just a bit, bit of an intro. Um, if you think anything I said that I plan on talking about is going to be interesting to you, please give it a follow. Give this a like. Leave a comment. Leave a comment about what you would like to know about. Um, I'm kind of here in open book and just kind of seeing what could happen with this. Uh, but my plan right now is I have a few things that I plan on doing some reviews on here in the next couple weeks. Um, and then taking it from there. So appreciate you. Have a good one. If you need anything, let me know. Love to have the conversation, especially about hockey.